Man, have you guys even noticed that they've been off of air this long? Before we get started in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys could please share so we can just get the word in the video out there. Now, let's just dive right into this. Man, it's been a while since this strike has been going on. You're talking about three months and these people are nowhere to be found. And that goes to show you they're like not even missed. And there's a lot of things that are causing this. For one, they regurgitate the same thing that the news talks about. Imagine you, you're at work, right? You go to work and you're talking with your coworkers. They're talking about all this stuff, indictments or whatever. Then you go to lunch. They're talking about the same stuff. You turn on the radio to the car. It's the same stuff. You finally get home. You just want to enjoy just a nice cold one. You kick your feet up. Let me, I want to try to laugh, even though they're not funny. Let me try to get a laugh at it. Say Jimmy Kimmel, put them on. And it's the same regurgitated messages that you've been hearing all day about the indictments. I did everything right and they indicted me. So people for one are completely tuning out. The audiences just aren't there anymore for one. Secondly, the need to want or even watch cable news is completely dying. Nobody watches cable TV. All the great things that you had back in the day, you know, with your Jeffrey, your Alex Trebek, your Bob Barker, your Young and the Restless, all these old shows going way back, the originals, the family feuds, all of this stuff, Nickelodeon back in the Double Dare days and all the great cartoons, Ren and Stimpy. Uh, you had MTV, you guys ever remember? I might be showing my age right here but the music videos the 106 in park all this other stuff back and you had all the iron chef of america all this stuff on tv that people were watching and people these great like i said bob barker great figures that people would want to watch constantly great news anchors and actual news that just covered everything right it wasn't just one person one subject 24 7 all that's gone so the viewership just isn't there which means the ad the revenue is not there. People are just completely tuned. So this is just, so I don't even know if they're going to reach any kind of impasse. Mind you, the people on strike already see what's happening with the AI. The AI, you can just input a little bit of stuff. They can write up full scripts. They can make news articles. They can make posters for movies and looks way better than what you would pay a team to do. These people aren't stupid. They know exactly what's going to happen. They're just going to use AI to put in certain actors, right? They're just going to keep putting in Harrison Ford. Even though these people are a lot older, these same movies that nobody wants to see. Love the originals enough with this new crap. Nobody wants to see it. So the writers, all these people, the uh, computer generators, all these people that run all this stuff, the technicians, they see what's happening. So at the end of the day, I don't even know what kind of agreement they're going to come to because the revenue is not there. And what was really interesting is that Iger this week comes out and talks about this and he basically says we're going to charge way more money now for the sub fees and the future is that we put ads back on shows. We're going to put ads back on shows. So what are they doing? They're going back to cable TV model. They're basically saying sub fees and commercials. What you didn't want when you all signed up for streaming, that's the way for us to make money. We can't make money this other way. I got a little challenge for you if you have some spare time. Watch five minutes of a Jimmy Kimmel. Pick any of them. Any of them on the YouTube. Just go down three months back randomly. Close your eyes and pick one and see if you'll laugh one time. Just the, they are not funny whatsoever. The people that write the jokes, those people should be losing their jobs for one. The people that write, none of this stuff is funny. It's not funny, it's not great TV, and it's over. These people are a done deal, and they know it, and nobody misses them. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think there's going to be a surge in comeback, or they're just going to put all these shows on streaming, right? They're going to put them on Disney Plus and Hulu and just do it that way and completely ditch off a of cable television? Or what do you guys think? Are you guys think they're ever going to come to some kind of agreement, or just the AI is going to take over, and they're just going to fire all these people? Because supposedly some of these C-list actors and all that. I think I even saw Michael Rappaport. That dude's a complete clown. Has to be done. Has to be done. You think I want to be standing out here in 90 degree weather? Nobody wants to be doing this. So what do you guys think is going to end up happening with this whole strike? Or if they're even going to get out of this? Or even if anybody cares? Because I could care less. The longer these people are off TV and the, given their stupid talking points, the better. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And please share so we can get the video out there and we can show how much support we have for somebody like Jimmy Kimmel. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.